So recently I scanned some black and white film that I took on a recent trip and I thought that this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how I edit and back up my photos. Um, I have developed a workflow, I guess that works for me, and I want to show you guys how I do it and why I choose to do things in this way. So first, I import my images uh, by plugging in my SD card through this USB hub, and I'll import them into Lightroom Classic. Uh, what this does is it moves the pictures from my SD card to my hard drive. I recommend moving all your images on hard drives because it'll save space on your computer and you'll be able to store a lot of pictures um, separately and not for much. Um, you can find hard disk drives for around $70, $80. Once I import my images into Lightroom Classic, I'll put them in the collection, I'll name it as the date I took the images and a brief description, and then I'll turn on synchronization. So what this does is this will copy over my images from Lightroom Classic on my laptop over to my iPad. I really like editing on my iPad because it's a very hands-on experience and the process of editing is really just much more enjoyable in my opinion. And so editing becomes fun rather than like doing work when it's on an iPad. Also, my laptop is a little bit slow with Lightroom Classic. And so this is a way to kind of get around that. Once I have all of my edits done on my photos, I'll come back to my laptop and I'll export these images as JPEGs in the best quality possible. And I put these images in a folder that's, um, that has the same name as my collection that I made in Lightroom Classic. And so this folder is also on the hard drive. So I'll export JPEGs with the edits baked in onto a folder in my hard drive. Now, once these JPEGs are done exporting, what I'll do is I'll pull up Google Photos on Google Chrome and I'll make an album with the same name as the album on the hard drive and the collection of Lightroom. And once I do that, I'll upload these JPEGs onto Google Photos. Now you might be wondering why I still use Google Photos, especially because since June, Google Photos doesn't have unlimited storage anymore. Before that, they used to let you upload as many images as you wanted in a smaller resolution but now they don't have that anymore. So why do I use Google Photos? Well, the main reason is because I got most of my images up on Google Photos before that deadline. So all of my images are on there anyways. But on top of that, Google Photos really helps me enjoy all the pictures that I've taken. Before I used to upload to Google Photos, all of my photos would just sit on a hard drive or on Lightroom. And I realized that except for editing, I would never really look through my photos and enjoy the hard work that I've put into them. But once I put things on Google Photos, it became a lot easier to look through them and also to share the images. There's many facets of Google Photos that makes photos a lot more enjoyable. Uh, one of my favorites is the Memories Reel, where on top of the Google Photos app, the app will make memory reels for you uh, of that day. So if I look here in Google Photos, um, I see the images that I took one year ago today, two years ago today, and so on and so on, and all the way back to like 15, 20 years ago. Obviously I didn't take them, my parents took them. But you forget about these moments, these pictures that you took a long time ago. And so it's really cool, I think, to be reminded by the app of, oh, this happened three years ago, four years ago and it helps me reminisce about these moments. Google Photos also uses AI to analyze all your images. And so you can search whatever you want and Google Photos will curate the images that match that. So for example, if I type in soccer, it will pull up all the images that it thinks is of soccer. Um, if I pull up lake or mountains or something similar to that, it'll pop up as well. Once I make an album, I'll share my album to either friends that I took the pictures with or my family members. And once again, Google Photos makes this really easy to do. And speaking of albums and Google Photos, I really love just scrolling through my albums and looking at the album covers. 
and it's like I can scroll all the way back from right now to all the way back to when I was born. It's a really cool feeling and it's satisfying seeing the amount of albums that you have built up over time. But yeah, that's my photography workflow and how I edit pictures and how I organize and back them up. I hope this workflow makes sense to you. I hope I did a good job explaining it. And I hope that this helps you build your own photography workflow. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next video.